Carol O'Foury. Weekdays, 9 a.m. till 12. East Coast Radio. So we are heading up to the elections and it's a few days to go. It's difficult to drive around the city and not see a whole lot of election posters literally screaming at you. I thought by now I wouldn't notice some of the posters, but literally this morning I, I actually noticed. I'm like, okay, this political party, that political... On a signpost, you'll find five political parties competing for your eyes Uh, and that's because 29 May we head to the polls as South Africans for the general elections. Now South African voters in the United Kingdom, well this weekend it's time for them. They will cast their ballots tomorrow as well as Sunday. Now London has over 24,000 registered voters making it the largest foreign voting station for the upcoming elections and the largest voting station overall. Overall, right? And um, with overall more seventy, uh, more than 78,000 South Africans are expected to vote abroad at 111 missions, yeah? But as we creep closer to the day, it's important we find out everything we need to know. And there's one lady who's literally been informing us all the way, IEC Head of Outreach in KZN, Dr. Nontlantla Longwani. Good morning, doctor. Good morning, Kendra. How morning, are you? I am fine, thank you very much. You we guys... Are- yeah, heading towards the, the 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 finish line now. Hey, it must be getting very busy for you guys. It. Yes, it's been very hectic, but we are up for the challenge. Right. So tomorrow, London, twenty four thousand feet expected to come through and uh, make their mark over the next two days. Um, how are plans for that going? Our queue is going to be long. I mean, we, a lot of people listening have family out there. Yes. Yes. Actually, both starts today in our Middle East mission. Oh. So we have uh, people uh, who have gone to Amman, Cairo, Damascus, Kuwait, and, and places like that in the, in, in the Middle East. So we are not expecting a, a long um, queue report. We are not expecting any of those. Okay. Even in London, yeah, over the two days. Um, this is because the, the, the countries that have the Monday to Friday work week, they vote tomorrow and Saturday, just like London, the, the UK, and the, the uh, United States. And then the countries that have uh, a, a Sunday to Thursday mm. work week votes are uh, today from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Wow. So basically, voting begin. I literally got goosebumps. Voting begins officially today for South Africans. Absolutely, yes, you are right. It, it, bega- it begins today for the South Africans that are um, uh, abroad, wow. anywhere in the world where we have a mission. We are working with um, their code, Department of International Relations and Cooperation. Those are the people that are uh, our voting officers there in uh, all these missions, most of them. And we have uh, a few staff members that have gone to assist. We have observers in those missions. Uh, so, so far we have not uh, received any reports of um, challenges that they may they may face. I see. We have uh, actually the political parties that are campaigning overseas, Carol. Mm. So, yeah. Wow, okay. This is so interesting. So, tell me something, just out of curiosity. People vote overseas, then the ballot box is sealed. Is it like Survivor? It gets onto a helicopter with Steve from Survivor <laughs> and then he brings <laughs> it back. Or how does it work? How do we, are the votes counted in those countries and then tallied? How does that work? Okay, so... The, the, the ballots are not going to be counted overseas. They will be escorted in uh, South African, uh, like South African Defense Force, uh, security, wow. jets that are, uh, are, are used for specific missions. So they are very, very secured. They will be, a voter will, will vote on this one ballot, the national ballot, all of them. Um, that are not in the country. If you are not in the voting station, they are registered. Just like in, in like like here, yeah, you will be getting one ballot. So mm-hmm. they are getting their one ballot, uh, mark it once, and stick it in an envelope, an unmarked envelope, and that and then it, that envelope is inserted in a bigger envelope that would have the name of the mission and uh, the details, so that you'll be able to scratch it off the voters' roll. I see, and then that. 
bigger envelope that says your ballot paper inside will be put in a secured um, bag that then uh, is put in the, in the ballot box and it's sealed. It has sealed and it will be shipped off to South Africa nice. to wait for all the results to come in on the 29th. Then that is when it's going to be counted. Those, but those ballots are going to be counted um, at our national office in uh, Pretoria in Centurion. I see. Okay, so it is like Jeff probes going, getting on a helicopter. Just it's not Jeff. It's a South African <laughs> Defense Force who will carry the ballots back to South Africa in VIP style. All right, so I, I'm also very curious. After 29 May, how soon afterwards will South Africa know the results? You know what, uh, Carol? This is very interesting because every voting station where voting takes place will have its results as soon as counting finishes. Wow. So people are going to walk in, vote from 7 in the morning till 9 when the voting station closes. But if there will be people still in the queue, they'll be allowed to vote, all of them. So after 9 o'clock or when the voting finishes uh, at that voting station, uh, the, a, a stress process begins of counting ballots. Mm-hmm. Every uh, most voting stations would, would, would have uh, observers observing the elections, right. and uh, we encourage political parties and, and independent uh, independent candidates to bring their agents into the voting station so that they can observe the process from the beginning in the morning till the counting of the results. All right. Once the result is out, it it, it, it comes in triplicate um, form, in triplicate paper. You remember, yeah. I don't know if you were still, if you were born when you had those uh, um, copies, you know. Yeah, no, I wasn't <laughs> born. Okay, I'm very anyway, young. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, well I'm, I'm, I'm from that generation. Right. That, uh, no, I'm teasing, those, I'm teasing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So when um, the, 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 the result is out, then it is placed at, in the window or at, on, on, at the door, on the door of the voting station. Mm-hmm. So in actual fact, what I'm trying to say is that each voting station would have the result. Wow. And um, at the provincial office, at, uh, we'll be at the ICC, that is going to be the uh, our result um, center. operation center. Got once, you. The, the, once the result are uh, are verified and collated for each municipality, then they'll be transmitted onto our results operation center and they will be transmitted and, and they will be displayed on the leaderboard. And gotcha. they come in with the three ballots, we're expecting like uh, the results to come in, in at about two in the morning, two or three in the morning. Oh, smaller all, all right. Okay, Doctor, there's definitely so, lots to cover. So we are definitely going to get in touch with you again next week because next week is literally the final full week that we will have ahead of Wednesday, the 29th. So we'll touch base again then. Uh, thank you so much, Doctor, for chatting to us. Thank you so much, Carol. It's always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. IEC Head of Outreach in KZN, Dr. Ontlan Tlachongwane, just unpacking how excited, I guess, everyone in the UK is as they hit the polls tomorrow and on Sunday. And, of course, hearing that uh, the people, our, our expats living in the Middle East are already headed to the polls today to make their mark. 29 May, guys, it's happening. Carol Ofori, East Coast Radio.